Tutorial number one, how to set up your business on Rhino Online. So the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, log in or register. Um, so if we click up here. Now for the benefit of this uh, video, I'm gonna do it on our test site. So by cl clicking up here, it'll take you to a screen that looks like this. If you've already registered on Rhino Online, then you should contact our support team and we can convert your account from a consumer account to a business account. If you're not on the platform then you should click create Rhino account. So uh, the next step is to input your name input your email address select the country by selecting the country, it'll set up the correct currency, uh, tax system, and also date format for that country. It'll also provide a default language. This next step is really important. So we have two types of logins on Rhino Online. We have consumers um, that get a very simple screen um, and they can order stuff from businesses on the platform, or you can set up a business account. When you set up a business account, you need to select a click and collect business. We now click on next. As a business, you need to input your details. So this is your trading name. Now um, we can set up any type of customer facing business on the platform. So it could be uh, a restaurant wishing to do takeaways. It could be a local butcher shop. It could be it could be anything. It could be a local bike shop. Um, in this example, we're going to do uh, a florist. So we're going to call it um, uh, Amy's Florist. And then we input our address, and it's important to complete all of these details because this will this is displayed on the platform, and it gives people confidence uh, when they go to order from your platform. We will also need these details in order to verify that you are a legitimate business um, so that you can operate on the platform. So I'm just going to input um, uh, an address. So this is going to be uh, the high street, um, which is going to be Cheersby. And then we input our postcode we input our website and it's important to input this as well because customers can see this uh, once again it gives them confidence and it'll also allow us to check everything and also input your phone number so I click uh, next I've now got the terms and conditions for using the platform uh, these are quite important um, so we scroll down through it and then we can either decline or accept and proceed. So the next step in the process is we will send you an email and this is to verify that you are using a proper email address and it's another step uh, in our process for uh, making sure that we know who's operating on our platform. So if I click on my emails and I do a refresh, I can see that the emails come in. So if I click on this, I can now click on here just to complete the process. A couple of final steps. So it tells me my account has been created. But just to finish it off, I've got to input a password. So I'm going to input a password. Um, I'm just using the take orders feature, which is good. In here we can say are we registered for VAT or not. 
Um, so this will enable all the VAT functionality, but in this example, um, we'll just proceed without it, just to keep it simple. We want the Take Orders screen. This is the screen that we see in our shop. We want this to be the default screen when we log in. And then a useful tip is at the top of the screen, we can see a little question mark on most screens. Um, and if we click on that, we'll be able to see a video of how that screen works. Finally, uh, down here, um, if you need help, then just pop us an email at support at rhinoapps.com. So the final step to complete your registration is click on finish. Okay, you're now set up on the platform. So um, in the next tutorial, we'll show you how to set up your products.